In this video, here I come. we'll be seeing how to create payment links using Stripe API. You can open this documentation URL. I'll give the link for this in the description. And we can follow this documentation. We'll be using PHP for the implementation. So we can go to this GitHub repository. This is of Stripe PHP library. So you can use this and add Stripe to your project. So you can use Composer, Require, Stripe, and Stripe will be added. If you don't have Composer installed, you can go to this link. You can see this one. And you can click this one. And here, we can download the Composer from here. Simply click this download and you can install Composer. You also have to install PHP on your device and add the path to the environment variable. Okay, after that, you can use this command, Composer Require. And let's copy this command. So here I have opened a project inside PHP Storm. You can use any IDE. We can simply create a file here. We can make it index.php for now. Now we can add the library to our project. So you can open the terminal. So I am using the terminal uh, inside PHP Storm. You can use the command prompt. And you have to come to this project directory. And here we can use the composer require command. And we can hit enter here. So Stripe is added to our project. Let's go to the project and you can see vendor folder and composer.json, composer.log. So inside vendor, we are having autoload.php. So we have to add this autoload.php to our index file. So let's open PHP and let's require, require vendor slash autoload.php. Okay, and now Stripe is added. Now we can follow the documentation. Open this documentation URL and here we can do this one okay here we are in slicing stripe and uh, we are creating a price so let's do that we can i am using php you can use any other language okay so let's copy this one and we can paste that here let's remove the command from this so we have to change this secret key uh, we'll be fetching that from stripe so i will show that how to do that uh, so let's keep that right now uh, and uh, here we are creating this price here you can see we have to pass the product ID here. So before that, either you can create this product from your Stripe dashboard or you can use an API. I will be showing you both. If you want to create the product using the API, you can come to this URL. I'll give the link for this on description or you can refer that here. I will be enlarging this URL so you can refer this one. Okay, open this documentation URL and come here and you can see this. You can select the code you are using uh, if you are going with java you can choose that if you are going with php you can select that select the language you are going with and you can see this one see you have to initialize stripe that we have already done and then you can create it just like this okay you simply have to call products and then call the create function pass the name of the product that's it so as a response you will get the product id and all those details see this is the response. So if you want to pass more details other than the name, you can refer that in the parameters. You can see name is a required parameter. You have to pass that. And you can set it active or not active by setting it to true or false. And the second one is, uh, third one is description. And you can pass the ID if you want to. Uh, it will be automatically generated. So the metadata, you can pass that as well. You can add the metadata. You can refer this one and... Go to this API for metadata and you can see the API documentation here. See, you can pass the data like this. So you can refer this documentation and do that. We will not be going to that right now. And you can also set the default price, all those things, image and all these things. You can refer this. So we will only be creating a product with the name for now. So we can copy this one and we can do that. So in dashboard also you can do that. I will show you how to. So let's open the Stripe dashboard and you can go to product catalog. Here we can add a new product and we can give a name. You can scroll down and here we can see the pricing. That's the default pricing you have to give it. And here we can choose if it is a recurring payment or one-time payment. If you are choosing one a recurring payment, you can add the price here and you can select the billing period. And also there are more pricing options. You can see that here. You can work with that. So we'll not be doing this right now. We'll be doing the one-time pricing. And in the advanced option, you can add price description and all those things. 
Okay, you can go back and we'll be adding a one-time price. And uh, that's it, we can add the price. Now the product is added. If you select the product, we can see the price. So this is the default price that we have added. You can add one more price. You can add as many prices as you want, okay? So let's add one more price. Let's make it 150 something. And you can click on add. Now that price will be added here. If you want to set this as a default price, you can set this as default. Now this will be the default price. So you can do that here, okay? So this is how you can add the product through the dashboard. It is very easy. Now we'll be seeing how to add this using the API. So to add this using the API, you can simply copy this one and you have to simply run this. So we can do that. We can add this here. So we'll be creating a product here. We have to assign this to a variable, product equal to, and you will get the product and all these details here. Product ID will be available in this variable, okay. And we can pass that here, okay. If you are creating this product from the dashboard, you can copy the product ID. I'll show you where you can find that. So you can find the product ID by going to the product and you can see the product ID here. Okay, hope you can see that here. So you can simply copy this one and you can add that there. Okay, so now we will be passing the ID that we have created right now. And that is this one. Okay, so whenever you are running this script, it will create a new product. You should not do it like this. You should create a product whenever you need it. So this process will be done in the admin dashboard. Okay, so let's say an admin want to add a product. Uh, so you can do that in the admin dashboard. So... This should not be done in the user side. It's not a good practice, so you should not do that. You have to add the product from the admin dashboard. So you have to uh, create your logic and you can work with that. So we'll be adding the price product ID here. We are setting the price for the product now. You can also set more than one prices. Now we can create the payment link. So we have created the product and we have assigned the price for the product. Now we can create the payment link for that product. For that, you can come back to this documentation URL and you can continue from here. So we have created the price now for the product and uh, now we have to pass that price here. Okay, so we'll be creating the payment link. So while creating the payment link, you have to pass the price ID. So hope you got how this will connect and work. So we can copy this much from here. You can come here and you can paste that here. So we have to pass the price ID. So just like what we have done for the products, we can create a variable for price, price equal to, and we'll be getting the price on this variable. So you can pass that price ID here. So dollar price of ID. So you can check the response for creating the price. What will be the response? So let's go to the documentation. And here we can go to the top here and you can refer this documentation. Okay, so click on this one and here we can see the response, this one. Okay, so this is the response for creating a price. And here you can see the ID. This is the price ID. Okay, so this is the code for creating the price uh, and uh, this is the response. So hope you got that. So you can also create the product while creating the price like this okay so you can refer this documentation uh, there are a lot more parameters that you can use okay you can refer that here on the documentation so right now we are just passing this price id so now we'll be getting the payment link so we can get that to a variable payment equal to you will get the payment link here so you can go to the documentation or uh, you can go to this link here and uh, here we can uh, see the response here okay this is the response let me just try to zoom it so in the response we are getting the product id and on the bottom we can see the url section so you can simply redirect the user to this url okay so this url let's get that url so it is you can use it like response of url okay so you can come here and here we can echo the url so echo dollar payment of url and that's it so we'll be printing the url here so before running we have to change this secret key 
So right now it is correct because I am using the Stripe documentation and copy pasting. So you can change this one. I will show you how to change it. You can go to the Stripe dashboard and go to developer options. You can see the developer option here. And you can go to API key. Here we have to generate the API key. You are already having one. So if you are not having one, you can generate it. So let's copy the secret key. We have to copy the secret key. So click on reveal test key. Since this is a test key, we can reveal it like this. So we can copy it and you have to use this one. So in my case, this one was already used because Stripe documentation is integrated like that. So it will be automatically available there. So we can add that key here. So simply paste the key here. That's it. So now we can run this. So let's try running this one. So here we can see the link is being generated. So let's try accessing it. Before accessing, you can go to the dashboard and go to products. And here we can see the product is being generated. You go to the product. You can see the product ID and the pricing, etc. is added. So hope you understand that. So you can see the product that we have added right now is added and the price is added also. Now we can try accessing this link. You can see it is working. See, that's it. So hope you understand how to add the product. You can either add it through the dashboard or using the API and you can generate the link. In the link of section also, you can generate the link from the dashboard itself. If you want to use the API, you can follow this tutorial. So if you are having a recurring payment in case of uh, using the API, you can refer this documentation. Okay. So you can see this option recurring. You can set that. So we go to this child section. You can see the uh, intervals. So you can add that like this. Okay. So you can add the recurring option and set the interval month or something of your choice. So that's it. So right now we have added a fixed amount. So if you want to make it a recurring amount, you can do it like this. Okay. So hope you understand. So that's it uh, with the link creation. Uh, so the link will be generated. And after payment, if you want to redirect the user to some other your website or some other link, you can use this option. Simply give this one after completion. You can select the type here and redirect URL equal to. You can give the link here. So you can refer this API also. Just click on this after completion and you can refer this one. So here you can see this is the payment link creation API. Okay. So this one. Okay. Hope you remember that one. So here we can see after creation, this is the type. You can redirect it or you can show a display. You can show a message using the hosted confirmation. So you can either set it to hosted confirmation or redirect. And in the case of a hosted confirmation, uh, you can set the message here. So you can pass the custom message like this. Okay. So how it will be passed? You can pass it like this one. Okay. You have to pass it as, as an array. So hope you understand that. If you are having any doubt, you can simply Google it or use ChatGPT. It will be much easy. So hope you understand this part. So that's it. So if you further scroll down, you can see how to deactivate the link and all those things. And here you can see one of a uh, useful thing. You can see that here. Allow coupon codes. You can allow the coupon codes and you can create the coupon codes either from the dashboard or using the API. You can see the API here. So you can refer this API. So this is for adding the promo code. So you can refer this one. Okay. So you can add it. So you can add the promo code also. And all these things you can refer it. You can add a billing and shipping address. And all those things you can enable and all. You can refer this and you can continue. So this is all for this video. So hope you understand how to create payment links using Stripe API. If you have any doubts, you can leave a comment below. I'll be responding to them. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.